Jealous Sil tried to poire and me at my husband's party after we announced my pregnancy. But it backfired horribly and now she's facing jail time while also getting divorced. I, 29F, have been married to my husband Harry for the past 7 years. I love everything about our marriage except the fact he is related to his sister, Kayla who brings all the negativity into our lives. Now, don't get me wrong, I used to love Kayla when I first got to know her but over time, I have quickly changed my opinion. She is incredibly negative, manipulative, and toxic. I have worked hard for years to avoid getting on her bad side because I know the kind of person she is. In the past, my husband had dated Syl's best friend when he was 17 and later they broke up because he felt he was pressured into being with her because of Syl. When he turned 23 and found himself single, his sister insisted that he and her other friend should be together, but he refused. They had a huge fight and she went crying to their parents about how she wanted him to marry someone she felt comfortable with but his parents didn't really listen to her. When my husband and I met and fell in love, his parents were very supportive. But Syl had consistently treated me with a cold demeanor. Whenever I was around, she would always bring up Harry's exes for no reason and tell him how well they were doing and how he should get back in touch with them. This went on for a while and I was not the only one who found this weird as Harry found this weird also so he would ask her to not bring up his exes continuously. Syl would then get pissed and start taunting me about how I was getting jealous and how he should not be with an insecure person like me. Whenever his parents would call us for dinner, Syl would purposefully bring one of Harry's exes telling us how she had stumbled into them that day by accident and had to invite them for dinner out of politeness. She also checks my Instagram relentlessly even though she doesn't follow me. I have a public account so I have noticed how she is the first person to check my story. If a guy comments on my photo she would then go to her brother and complain about how I was posting inappropriate pictures of myself. Harry and I would literally laugh at her accusations. When Harry and I decided to move in, she urged Harry to break up with him telling him how I have a lot of flaws as a woman and that she could find someone much, much better than me. This comment honestly hurt me since I had been nothing but nice to her throughout everything. Unfortunately, as soon as me and Harry got engaged, Syl's behavior towards me got even worse. When Harry and I announced our engagement, everyone started congratulating us. I noticed Kayla was very quiet, and then she got up from the chair and walked out of our party to everyone's shock. Later, she called Harry crying and screaming about how she didn't appreciate being told the news with everyone else since she thought he was the closest to her so she deserved to have been the first one to know about his engagement. Later she sent me a message which was almost borderline threatening, saying how I should be a good wife to her brother since she had always been the only woman in his life. The message was so weird that I almost cringed. I didn't even bother replying back to her and left her message at scene which I know must have pissed her off even more. Syl started to gradually ignore me anytime she saw me. For some reason, she remained involved with all the wedding activities like when I went dress shopping and had my bridal shower. She took her criticism of the wedding to a whole new level, openly expressing her discontent with my choices. Despite both my future mother-in-law and fiancé calling her out on it multiple times, her behavior persisted. One day, while discussing the centerpiece with my future mother-in-law, Kayla overheard and immediately began to mock me saying how my choice had no class and how this is why she wanted her brother to marry someone better. That was the breaking point for me, and I lost my composure. I screamed at her that I couldn't tolerate her constant taunts and criticisms any longer, and I made it clear to her that she was not invited to our wedding anymore. Kayla was shocked, gasping in disbelief as if she had never expected me to stand up to her. Even my mother-in-law was furious with her and supported me. Later, Kayla reached out to Harry, complaining about how I embarrassed her and insisting that he should control me since I was going to be his wife. Harry told her firmly that he stood by my decision and that if she didn't apologize, she was not going to be invited to the wedding. Begrudgingly, she sent me a heartfelt apology which I saw and again left it on read. With my wedding preparations, I was already exhausted and I didn't want to be involved with her drama. In the end, she did end up coming to our wedding because I didn't want her to badmouth us later. Now my wedding had a certain theme of pink hues and pastels which everyone seemed to have no trouble following including the guests. However, Syl showed up wearing a black floor-length gown with a veil as if she was coming for a funeral. We were shocked, to say the least. Syl went around telling everyone how she was mourning for losing her brother to another woman. During the reception, my husband could see that I was uncomfortable with Syl's wedding outfit and confronted her about it. She tried to play the victim by saying that she had the right to wear whatever she wanted and that I was too controlling. In the end, Mill and Phil asked her to leave when she wouldn't stop making a scene. It was humiliating for me and ever since that day, I have steered clear of her. When I gave birth to my son Nate, I refused to allow Syl anywhere near our baby. She did try to fight it but my husband and his parents had my back. They understood exactly why I didn't want Syl near my baby and respected my decision. Two years ago, Syl had a miscarriage with her then-boyfriend Jamie and it completely broke her. It was indeed a sad time for everyone. Harry and I felt sad for her since we already had a child so after her miscarriage, we decided to be a bit more forgiving. We would invite her to our place so she could bond with our son Nate. I have to say that she has been surprisingly sweet to our son despite how she behaves with me. In the beginning, she seemed to have changed but over time, she had gone right back to who she was before. 
She's always going on about how tough her life is, how things never seem to work out for her, blaming ex-bosses or ex-friends for messing things up in her life. Over time, I have noticed that in her head, she is never wrong. She rarely admits to any fault in conflicts and is constantly trying to get people on her side by playing the victim card. This year, she decided to get married and invited everyone except us. Harry was shocked to find out that we were not invited since our relationship seemed to be better. When we questioned her about it, she started to say how she could not allow me to come since I might do something to upstage her wedding. I did call and ask her why she would think something like that when I have never done anything to her. Kayla started to say how she had knowingly dressed up in all black to our wedding so now she was afraid that I might do the same and this is why she didn't want me in our wedding. I was furious about how manipulative she was and straight up told my husband about this. Harry talked with his parents and they decided to tell Syl that they would neither pay for the wedding nor would they be attending. This reduced Syl to tears and she started to blame me for creating this fiasco. My husband informed her that she had shamelessly admitted her own mistake so she had no right to be pointing fingers at me but Kayla justified her actions saying that our wedding happened a long time ago and that I should just get over it. Later, since Phil and Mill were still refusing to pay for her wedding, she reached out to apologize to me and beg me for forgiveness. I hate to admit this but Kayla can be very sweet and persuasive when she wants something. I forgave her and wanted to just move on from the past. Her wedding with Jamie went well. We all attended and had a good time. Not even six months later, Kayla was at our doorstep complaining about how her marriage was falling apart. Harry and I let her stay with us for a few days where she would vent for hours on end about her husband. They seemed to be having issues with getting pregnant and Kayla was clearly blaming Jamie for everything. I tried to talk to Kayla but she was adamant that it was all her husband's fault. When she was not complaining about her husband, she would be hyper-focused on our lives and try to make up things that didn't exist. For example, I generally go to the gym every morning before going to work. Sometimes when I am running late, I take my work clothes so I can finish my workout, take a bath, and change into my work attire. Syl noticed this for some time and would ask me a lot of questions about it like why was I taking a bath or why I even needed to go to the gym. I didn't think much about it and would tell her how I liked maintaining my weight and how I didn't like going to the office all sweaty. She would purse her lips and nod. Eventually, things got okay with Jamie and she went back to living with him. On a weekend, my husband and I went to have lunch with Mill and Phil. Syl and Jamie had also been invited. We left our son Nate with a babysitter since he usually got bored when us grown-ups would talk for long hours and wanted to stay at home and play. During lunch, Mill was telling us about how one of her friends is currently divorced. She was telling us about how her friend's husband cheated on her so she left him and took half of his assets. Syl suddenly interrupted her to ask my husband if he and I had signed a prenup before we got married. We stopped eating to look at her. She acted like I wasn't even there and looked at my husband expectantly. Now my husband is not someone who minces his words so he told her straight up that since he and I both earned quite well we saw no reason to get a prenup. Syl snorted and started to say how nowadays there are a lot of cheaters around us and that he could be blindsided any day. I took offense to her words and asked her to tell us what exactly she was insinuating. Syl then started to say how I was definitely meeting up with someone since I was always carrying a change of clothes everywhere and that as Harry's sister, it was her duty to warn her brother. I was shocked to hear these words. Phil and Mill immediately came to the rescue and went off on her to stop making up such things and that she should not meddle her nose into others' business. Syl without missing a beat went on to say how she was only trying to be there for her brother and started to joke if our son Nate was really Harry's son since he didn't exactly look like him. I swear I watched my husband's face go red in anger. I have never seen him this angry in my life. He looked Kayla straight in the eye and told her that this was why she was not a mother yet since she didn't deserve to be one and that her child was better off in heaven rather than with someone like her. Kayla's mouth hung in shock. Mill and Phil just stared quietly as my husband went off on Kayla about how she was a shameless person who tried to ruin everything because she had nothing good going on in her life and how she was just a loser married who did nothing the whole day when husband worked hard the whole day. He continued to say instead of pointing fingers at me and asking us about prenups, she should worry about her own marriage since she was clearly projecting. Kayla was reduced to tears and started bawling. She looked at Jamie who was sitting right next to her to support her but he never uttered a word. I have never seen my husband lose his mind this way. In the end, she got up from her chair to run into the washroom. My husband was fuming. Mill came over to calm my husband down as I rubbed his hand. He told me how sorry he was for what his sister told me about our son and I nodded because I understood just how frustrating she could be. I was kind of glad my husband stood up for me so publicly since I had taken enough shit from Kayla over the years. After he calmed down, he apologized to Jamie but ignored Kayla completely. After lunch that day, we went back to no contact with Kayla. Her behavior was not only affecting me but it was also affecting my husband. We just blocked her from everywhere so she could not reach out to us. Mill and Phil did talk to us about the lunch and agreed that Kayla had gone too far this time. They could see how their usually calm son had gone unhinged after Kayla had kept pushing him. It has been a year now since we have talked with her and everything has been going smoothly. Two months ago, I found out that I was pregnant. This is a complete surprise since we were not even trying. My husband and I feel blessed to welcome another family member. 
We were waiting for the right time to inform everyone and decided to reveal it on my husband's birthday. Mill and Phil wanted to celebrate Harry so they were having a big bash for him in their backyard. Our close family and friends had been invited. Syl must have heard about this from others and decided to show her face. My husband and I were shocked to see her. Syl came and hugged Harry telling him how much she had missed him and how sorry she was for their last conversation. My husband took my hand and told his sister that she should be apologizing to me since she had pointed fingers at my character. Syl nodded turned to me and apologized. She told me how she had been going to therapy for the past few months and had realized how wrong it was for her to humiliate me like that. I did not believe a word she was saying but I didn't want to be rude to her in front of everyone so I just nodded. Mill and Phil did check up on us and told us that they had no idea she would be coming and assured us that if we were not comfortable they would kick her out since this was a party for my husband but Harry didn't want to make a scene so we agreed to let this go. Throughout the party, I could see Syl laughing and mingling with everyone which was a bit odd. She seemed too positive which was completely not her character. But she had mentioned going to therapy so I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. When it came time to cut the cake, Harry gave a heartwarming speech about how he considered himself the luckiest guy in the world, grateful for yet another year with a wife like me. His words made me blush with joy. I couldn't help but appreciate the fact that my husband and I were still deeply in love, just as we were when we first started dating all those years ago. Then, Harry and I decided to share some exciting news with everyone. With smiles on our faces, we announced that we were expecting a baby and everyone took a moment to process before exclaiming in happiness. My mother started to cry and came over to hug me. Mill and Phil had tears running down their faces as they congratulated both me and Harry. Everyone was so happy for us and were excitedly asking us if we had come up with baby names. The only sore thumb that stuck out was Syl. She looked at us stunned. I thought maybe she was taking some time to process but then her expressions changed and she just walked away from us looking pissed. I was a bit worried thinking if she was going to ruin yet another celebration for us but got distracted with other people coming over to talk to me. When it was time to serve lunch, I got up to help my in-laws bring the food out but Rick and my parents urged me to remain seated telling me that I should not even lift a finger during this time. I was sitting in my seat patiently waiting for my husband to bring me a plate when Syl came up to me beaming. She had a plate of food in her hands and handed it to me, loudly announcing that she personally wanted to serve me food since she was so happy about my pregnancy. As she handed me the plate, she even made a comment about how she wanted to make it up to me for all the time she had been rude to me in the past. I nodded and graciously accepted. She then walked away. As I was about to dig in, I thankfully noticed that she had brought shrimp on my plate. It is quite a well-known fact to my family that I am highly allergic to shrimp so I was shocked that Syl even served me this. I shook my head in disappointment and got up to get my own food. At that moment, Jamie came over to congratulate me on my pregnancy. We talked a bit and he asked me why I was not eating. I pointed out how Syl had served me shrimp probably by mistake so Jamie told me not to worry and took the plate off my hands. He told me he could have this plate since he liked eating shrimps and I could get a new plate for me. I smiled, nodded, and walked away. It was not even 5 minutes later when Jamie started to puke and retch over this plate. Everyone stopped eating in concern and stared at him as he stumbled to get up from his seat. Harry and Kayla rushed towards him in concern. Jamie pointed at his plate and then at his throat. Our eyes widened in shock as we understood that something was clearly wrong with him because of what he had eaten. Jamie then fainted while everyone gasped in shock and concern. Kayla rushed over to check his plate and her eyes widened in shock. She turned to look at me and asked me if I had given my plate to her husband and I nodded. In the midst of the chaos, someone called for an ambulance, and he was rushed to the hospital. Kayla was crying uncontrollably through all this and kept glancing at me in anger. We were informed later that Jamie had been poisoned. I almost fainted when I heard this since I knew unlike others that the plate was originally meant for me. Whatever poison Jamie could have poisoned me and my baby. Harry, Mill, Phil, and my parents have no idea about this yet. The police were called to take the food that he ate as evidence since no one had any idea what was in the food that had caused him to faint this way. At this moment, as I am typing this, Jamie is still recovering at the hospital while Kayla stayed with him overnight. My husband and I have been answering calls from relatives inquiring about what happened to Jamie and who could have potentially poisoned him. Mill and Phil are shaken up by what has happened and are staying over at our place since they are afraid to be back at their place. No one has an idea about what happened suddenly when everything was going so well. I am so scared to tell everyone that the plate originally belonged to me and how Kayla had come and served it to me. If this turns into an investigation, I will have to tell the police the truth. I feel extremely guilty about what has happened but most importantly I am now extremely worried about what my Syl can do to me since she clearly has no inhibitions about trying to poison me. I don't want to be around her nor can I let my children anywhere near her. Ida for giving my plate to Jamie and for potentially poisoning my bill? Update 1, wow, thank you for the thousands of comments on this post in just a matter of a few hours. I never imagined that I could have gotten this many responses. My hands were shaking when I typed this earlier and I have not been able to sleep. Despite what everyone keeps saying, I do feel somewhat responsible for my bills incident. I should have just thrown the plate but I don't know why I let him take it from me. I keep crying thinking if something happens to him. 
My husband knows something is wrong and has been hovering near me. He thinks I am just worried but has no idea what I know about his sister. I agree with the comments that I need to sit down and talk to everyone calmly. I don't know if everyone is going to believe me but Mill and Phil do have security cameras installed all around the house and since this birthday party was happening in their backyard, I am sure they can check and verify from their cameras that Kayla was the one who offered me that plate. I will talk to everyone tonight and then update. Update 2, so we talked and I am so grateful to have the best in-laws in this world. Since Mill and Phil are already staying over with us, I sat down with them and Harry during dinner to tell them that I had something important to talk about. I started by taking a deep breath, the weight of the situation heavy on my shoulders. With everyone gathered around, I recounted the events of the birthday party, explaining how Sil had served me a plate with shrimp, and how Jamie had unknowingly eaten it, resulting in his poisoning. As I spoke, the shock and disbelief on their faces mirrored my own feelings. Mill and Phil exchanged glances, their concern evident, while Harry's expression shifted from confusion to anger. I continued, expressing my fear about Sil's motives and her previous attempts to harm me. I admitted my hesitation in sharing this information, fearing the potential consequences for myself and our unborn child. Mill, being the pragmatic woman she was, immediately suggested checking the security camera footage. Phil nodded in agreement, recognizing the severity of the situation. Harry, though visibly upset, remained silent, absorbing the shocking revelation. After reviewing the security footage from their camera app, the truth was undeniable. The footage showed Sil offering me the poison plate, and the subsequent events leading to Jamie's distress. The weight of the evidence left no room for doubt. Emotions ran high as the realization set in. Harry, now fully aware of his sister's malicious intent, struggled to contain his anger. Mill and Phil were appalled by their daughter's actions, shocked at the lengths she had gone to create chaos. We sat stunned in silence as we struggled to understand why she would do something like this. In the aftermath of this revelation, my in-laws have decided to give this evidence to the police since this is a very serious matter. Then, Phil and my husband will be going and meeting with Jamie once he recovers since he is the one who needs to press charges on Sil. I have no idea how Jamie will react and I want to cry every time I think about how I allowed him to have my plate poison. I am not able to sleep or eat anything properly as I am so worried about him. I will update you when something significant happens. Update 3, okay, guys, I am finally back with an update. I know it has been a month since my last update but I am a pregnant woman who is going through a lot right now. First things first, my in-laws gave the recording to the police and after watching the evidence, she was arrested. Kayla didn't even deny the charges since she immediately burst into tears admitting to everything. My husband did talk to Jamie about what had happened and Jamie was as shocked as any of us. My husband urged him to press charges against his sister since this was such a sinister thing to do and told him that regardless of what he chose to do, he would always be a part of our family. In the end, after Jamie recovered, he not only decided to press charges but he also filed for divorce. Kayla called Mill and Phil crying begging them to forgive her. It turns out that Kayla is actually pregnant herself. She begged them to bail her out trying to manipulate them about how they should do this for the sake of their grandkid. Phil firmly told her that they were done coddling her and that she should finally learn to take responsibility for her own actions. Mill is extremely sad about what is happening to her daughter but she understands that what Kayla did cannot be just forgiven. The police found evidence that she had tampered with the food, intending to harm me which in turn had backfired and ended up hurting her husband. She has been charged with multiple offenses related to tampering with food, endangering life, and causing harm. She has been begging Jamie to not charge her saying how this was all my fault anyway but, thankfully, Jamie doesn't care and his mind is set on punishing her. Her court hearing will start soon. I don't think she can escape this time. Meanwhile, to everyone asking, my son and I are doing okay. He has no idea about what his aunt has done. Harry and I have talked and we do plan on sitting down with him and telling him the truth since we want our son to know and beware of these situations. I know it's going to be a difficult but very necessary conversation to have with a little one. I am also going for regular ultrasound scans every two weeks for my pregnancy as advised by my doctor. We don't plan on finding out the gender of the baby since we want it to be a surprise. My parents know about what has happened with Kayla and have become very protective of me. They are worried this might affect my psychological well-being during the pregnancy, so they are encouraging me to go to therapy. I agree with them since despite my acting normally, I have developed a deep-rooted fear after what Kayla did to my food, and I am afraid of eating any outside food or anything that I haven't prepared myself. My husband understands my fear and is there for me every step of the way so hopefully I can get over this irrational fear soon. Update 4, it's been 8 months since I last updated. Kayla is currently serving time in prison. She was found guilty of the charges. I never attended her court proceedings but sometimes my in-laws would and they told me how Kayla admitted to the court that she had been jealous of me for years since she never wanted an outsider to marry her brother. She had always dreamt about one of her best friends marrying my husband which is why when he started to date me, she would always try to bully me. When we announced that we were pregnant during my husband's birthday party, she was filled with jealousy since she was about to announce her pregnancy as well. 
She had suffered a miscarriage previously so she wanted to share her good news but she thought we took away her moment to shine. So, according to her due to her pregnancy hormones, she got so pissed that she mixed a small amount of rat poison with my food. She admitted how she just wanted me to end up in the hospital but never wanted to physically harm me or the baby. She told how she never expected that I would give my plate to her husband and how I basically poisoned her husband so she deserved to get a lighter sentence. Of course, the judge called bullshit to her pleas and she was sentenced to prison and will be away from our lives for quite some time. Jamie has also successfully divorced her so he is finally free as well. We have met him over the months and we continue to include him in our family activities whenever we can. He and I have talked and I have apologized to him profusely for giving my plate to him but he assured me that it was never my fault. I started to cry when I heard that because I have been replaying it over and over again in my head wishing that I could have done things differently so he was never poisoned. I am glad that Jamie is doing okay now. As for me and Harry, we have welcomed a baby girl into our family. Despite the lingering shadows of the past, the presence of our daughter has brought warmth and light into our lives. Our son, Nate, is ecstatic about becoming a big brother and has been showering his little sister with affection and love. Watching our children bond fills our hearts with gratitude. Throughout all this, my parents and in-laws have been there for us helping us navigate this new chapter in our lives. 